Good morning, everyone. Um, today I was just driving me around, of course. Um, well, I had a lot of things I had to do this morning. One, um, when I left work on Friday, I find out that my tail light is out. So, because you know, the way you can tell is when you turn your blinker, whatever side is, it blink quick, and one is blink slow. Um, so that's how you know tail light is or your front one, whatever. So, I went to Auto Parts place, buy some new tail lights, and I actually went to different two different places because the first place they had one, but it wasn't the kind I was looking for. And then the second one, um, I had to stop at, and then they did, so I ended up getting it. And I need a couple tours to uh, unhook and everything else. And then I ended up going to the fish store, I got a filter, um, of course, but most of my errands are done um, because I'm trying to do some changing in my tank right now. Um, I can't do much about it. Uh, yeah, being home right now, and um, I'm gonna start just come here, and then I probably end up starting doing the, my tail light today. It's either today or maybe later or maybe tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow, but I don't know because the race is on tomorrow, so no guarantee on tomorrow. But yeah, that, that's what I'm, that's my plan. And who knows? I guess I would just wing it, right? Let's see if I feel like doing it. If I don't, then I won't. And if I feel like doing it tomorrow, then I will. But overall, that's pretty much it. Nice. Oh, uh. I made a pit stop at a gas station. Got myself a Red Bull. Uh, yeah, I was I was gonna stop earlier, but I guess oh, I need something to drink. My my mouth was like dying. <laughs> oh man, it's so freaking hot. It's uh, it's more of a humid than hot. Uh, so that's the sucky part. So yeah. I'm I got home like what, what 20 minutes ago um, but I got my light bulbs um, I ordered some more online on Amazon to, um, that's a certain kind of light bulb that I wanted so I want to see if it works um, I thought it, I thought I thought it was kind of cool so um, yeah I'm just gonna be waiting for about a week until Thursday at least yeah to get them but yeah uh, everything's I know oh my god hold on Watch this. So, I was, and of course, my green stop all up over there, the, the branch one's over there, so I have to put the glue back on. Uh, da Vinci and Fury saying hi. Um, and then I looked over and I found this guy. Sorry, that's a little algae growing right, right in front of him. And this guy, he picked up the whole zoanthus. This is like the nuclear green. Zoa, because it, how green it is, it's, it's more on the camera, like it's less green on the camera than it is, but yeah, um, there's one of that, and he's, he was open, but then he closed himself, I don't know what, something must irritate him pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's that shrimp, but whatever, but here, yeah. this sea urchin, it just kind of, like, took the whole thing and just kind of, kept it for himself and now he's gonna run everywhere with it um these uh, p uh pin pincher pincherous sea urchin they're like octopus kind of the way they kind of like uh pick things up to camouflage themselves you know so it, they can protect themselves so that's pretty much what he's doing he, he just times when he just goes around and just pick things up and decide to well you know camouflage himself more, more or less so yeah um everything's doing good from here now since i'm doing this <laughs> everything's doing good here um growing big big and my wife in there she's uh recording her her fitness stuff um she's she's just started so 
Yeah, give me a second, you guys. Well, hello. Hello. Hi, Bungie. What are you doing? So, what are you doing over there? Um, I, I hear you got a new uh, career coming in. Yep. So tell, tell, tell me about your new, uh, new project that you're doing right now. So I'm an online accountability coach, which means that I'm going to host challenge groups for ladies who are working towards health and fitness goals. And I will provide encouragement and empowerment and recipes and meal ideas and all that kind of stuff. And we'll be in a community together, all working towards our fitness goals and encouraging each other. Oh, that sounds like fun, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So if people want to join your little group, <laughs> what can they do? Well, they can either message me or message my husband and I will get them hooked up with the info. So how how are they going to uh, able to message you if they want to get in touch with you? You can look me up on Instagram at DSMRebecca. And there's, that's where I am. <laughs> yeah. So that's your new uh, coaching ability, huh? Yeah, I'm super excited. I've been part of an accountability group and it's really kind of changed the fitness game for me. So I'm excited to host my own and spread positivity and light to all my ladies. So why did you decide to do this in the first place? Well, I mean, essentially what I just said, my accountability group really changed the game for me and my health and fitness journey. And I'm so much more disciplined now because I have these other women working towards their health and fitness goals. And that inspires me to continue working on mine. And so I want to be able to um, spread that encouragement and that positivity to other ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Hello, McGee and I just wanted to hop on here and say that if you've ever thought about doing an at-home workout program, wondered if it's a good fit for you, what exactly an at-home workout program includes, then you should definitely um, comment a smiley emoji and I will DM you with more information about my five-day free workout challenge group. Um, that's quite the mouthful. You'll get five different workouts from five different workout programs. So it'll be a great preview of what it is to do an at-home workout program. Maggie is digging at me. Um, or if you're just looking to start a workout routine or change your routine or gain more confidence, whatever it may be, um, be sure to reach out and I will give you more information on how to get plugged in. So good morning, everyone. It's a Sunday morning. Race day is on. <clears throat> oh my God, my voice is cracked. <clears throat> So this day is on. Um, NASCAR has been, they took a week off. So there was, they had a race on uh, Thursday. So then they didn't have a race on a Sunday. So it, yeah, I, this, this schedule is all kind of like messed up at the moment, but <clears throat> oh my gosh. So like I said, NASCAR is running on uh, about 2.30 to maybe three o'clock. And we're just doing some cleaning. Um, my wife downstairs right now, she's doing um, laundry as well. Oh, look at her. Oh, hello. Hello. McGee's going crazy. My water is overflowing. I'm using my faucet. It's a little dirty, messy. I'm not, I don't want to show you guys that, sorry. Um, my wife containers of food all over the place. Cause you know, she found some. And yeah, so I went out. She said we ran out of poopy bags uh, for McGee. And then okay, I was like, okay. So you know, you know, I always when I order stuff. So I decided to order nine hundred, and then two hundred, and then another set because it was just cheaper if I get it the amount that way. So then I'm coming over. She's like, oh, um, uh, oops, and I looked up. There's that, and look at this. Right behind it, another set of 900. So as you could see, um, I don't think McGee will run out of poopy bag. I mean, McGee's, all right. According to my wife, he poops three times a- I didn't do it. <laughs> According to my wife, McGee pooped 
three times on a walk, and then who knows how many times that he want to go out there and poop. So, in our calculation, he poops about six times a day. I don't know right, how. talking about poop on the internet. And now she's, now she thinks she saw that now. <laughs> but anyway, I think McGee poops like six times a day. I don't know how he does that in his little body. But he does. But he really, really does. He pee times everywhere. And then he drinks so much water and then he pees. And then he poops six times a day. Look at that tiny little body. He doesn't eat that much. He eats like twice a day. I mean, maybe he and their uncle will come down, Uncle Kenya will come down and start feeding him more treats. So, I mean, he's not, you know. He's not that big. He's only like 20 pounds. I mean, he might be a little bit more now since he's a little, you know. So yeah, um, that's a crazy thing. Uh, my house looks really clean now. Becky cleaned the majority of it up, but yeah, I'm just doing my fish stuff right now. Uh, I've been really neglecting all my tanks. Well, not really neglecting one of the tank, uh, because I think I might have a plan for it. I'm changing a lot, <clears throat> so. This is the plan I have. Okay, this looks really bad right now. I got, yeah, this red slime. Um, I think like red cryona um, algae. Let me, cause I do have medication for it. I have to first find it. I know it's a little messy here guys. I'm sorry. Um, I just have to first find it. Oh. Okay. So, this is the stuff that I used to get those red slime. It's, it's a, like red slime, you know. Um, it's it's one of the algae, so I, I need to use that on that tank. Um, it's when you don't really clean the tank too much. Oops, sorry guys when you don't clean the tank as often, but because here's the thing, I do have this Cascade 120, no 1200. Yeah, it's right there, I don't know why am I, this is my other one that they sent, we sent it to me because I ordered it and it broke. So I'm using parts for it. But yeah, this one, if you ever, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to, um, to do like to maintain like to clean it out you it takes a lot of time so then i just you know i'm like okay yeah, maybe i shouldn't do that but i think i'm just gonna use that right now just for water flow because i i need current like that's just like a good current so i think i'm gonna do is i'm just going to use that not as a filtration but as just a current like a power head more like like that one because that one is not strong enough it's strong, but it's not strong enough. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clean all this up, and then I may or may not make a filter right behind it. I mean, it's gonna be a DIY thing, so and it might not look that great, but who knows. That's what I'm thinking of doing. And then, but for now, I am, I, have, I got these, the Sun Sun Surface Skimmer. I might use, I, I'm going to use this on one of my 40, the innovative marine 40 I have. But I think I'm going to use the other one for that. And then I end up, you see, I went out and bought a cheap one because I was hesitating if I want to like a bigger set. Because I don't know if I will fit into the rim because it's, uh, the other ones, I don't know. But it is rated for 50. Usually in a salt water tank, you. 50 is okay, but normally when a salt water, you kind of want like maybe double, even triple the amount of flow or filtration because it's the salt is more denser apparently. Um, that's the way I learn it. Uh, because when you do fresh water, fresh water is just you know it's an easier thing. Um, you don't need that much flow. 
and because the bacteria won't grow as quick or as fast as salt water does. Because salt water, you get all these sand bed, um, all uneating things and come down and lay right on top of the sand bed and then goes into the sand bed and so because and this is what will happen guys this this is for not cleaning your tank trust me i i have done it so many times this is the worst i have got it um because i have still have been thinking i don't know what i want to do with this tank yet completely do because i'm i have to like overhaul of it i mean completely i gotta put some rocks back in i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to rock again but man it's one of those things that it's a lose lose battle for no matter what you try to do because things are really growing i really need to get this going but um yeah i'm gonna see how it goes but yeah, that's gonna be my part of the job today. Um, so, what else can I do, right? Um, maintaining your tank. All my crawls are open right now. I wanna show you guys. Watching NASCAR Hub right now, as you can see. Um, waiting for the race and try to get things done before I watch the race and then once the race going, I'll be, you know, um, watching it. Hi, you guys. All right, so this tail light here, this is the one that is, that is not working at the moment. I hate it. I fixed this many times before. And, you know, I always just change them both. But today I probably won't because I don't want to do both of them because I do have another one coming in. It's a different kind, so I don't want to put the effort to put them all in and then have to retake them out again. So I'm just gonna put one in. I mean, these bulbs are cheap anyway. They're like $6 for two bulbs, so I ain't worried about it. So the bulb I'm looking at is these events. You look good enough, right? There you go, whatever. But yeah. I'm gonna try to get this installed. Let's see how long it's gonna take me. It's probably gonna take me forever, but it usually does because I did the headlight before and it did took me forever. And then my headlight went out again. And then I was like, you know what? It's kind of like in between the winter time and so I just end up having someone else do it. It cost me quite a bit of money, but whatever. I mean, a 60, I buy for like what, 60, 70 bucks for the light bulb itself and then probably like 30 bucks for installation or something like that. I don't know, you know. So, yeah. Well, you guys, these things are a pain in the butt. Swear to you. Eh, I mean, they're they ain't too ruined. I usually have to... Right so what I have to do is... These knobs... Right here. I just try to take them off. And then... I just unscrew this... Up here. Right here. See where that hole is? I don't know. I can't really tell you here. Hold on. I can tell you right there. There's a hole right there. Um, it's just... <laughs> Make it a little harder, I guess you can say it. Um, I don't have to completely take this kennel off, but... <laughs> easier to do. Yeah, so this panel right here, I know it's hard to see, but this panel, this black hole, black trim that goes on your trunk. Yeah, if I could get this.
See, tell ya, pain in the butt. So there's two. These are, I, you can buy more of these online. It, pretty much you can buy them anywhere. I mean, if you do actually ruin it, it's not gonna be a big deal. Um, it's only keeping things together. So if, if you end up breaking it and like break half it, you can stick it back in if you want to, or you can just leave it alone. Um, because I have done it before, I there's um, those other screws up front when I change the light bulbs, and that did happen, and it broke half of it, and I just kind of like stuck it right back in anyway. So really don't matter too much. But this tool is very handy. Um, you can buy it at any hardware store. Uh, very handy to um, pull those dull, hard, achy plastic pin off. Uh, so now I got this part loose. Hello. There's a wifey. <laughs> uh, no. You don't have to get it completely off. This, like I said, you don't have to take this hole completely off. And I have seen, um, if you ever watch any of YouTubers and um, show you how to like change the, uh, change the tire or change the light from a car. Um, a lot of them take this whole thing off, but you don't have to. You can just kind of bend it back here a little bit and then just pull this out slowly so you don't like damage it. You can see I just pulled that lip off right there. This one I just kind of pull up a little bit, but it's alright. I can put that back easily. And then, turn it clockwise, and here's the bulb. It's busted pretty well. Give me a second. So, it, there's two ways you can take this off. Um, yeah, it's easier to see if I do it this way. Oh, yeah. all right, there's two ways of taking off this. Uh, one is you can take this lip off right here, you can use any of this. How's the lighting? I know it's kind of bright, isn't it? Sorry, guys. There you go. Well done. Better, yeah, I know it's a little bright here. So, you can either pull this up and uh, there's this little notch here and pull this out or you, you can just pull the light the light bulb out just like this but be careful don't break the bulb because you don't want to cut yourself oh man that's on there the reason why I just want to change one because if I have to do this all over again this guy kind of suck oh guys <laughs> I finally got this bulb out. Look at that. Finally got it out. Oh my goodness, that took forever. Easy to put in, a pain about to take out. Oh. There you go, guys. Stuck it. See how easy that was? Went right in. So now I have to test if it works. Lights on. See it? There's a the light. I, oh, yeah, I probably can't really see it anyway, but it's on. I promise. See it? Voila! Oh my gosh. Oh. That's kind of bright. Almost done. Now I gotta put everything back on. When you, put it, when you put it back in, it's simple as when you take it out. Going counterclockwise. I think it was clockwise when you take it out and then counterclockwise you put it back in. So. There you go. Both working. You can see. Both are working. 
I'm gonna get an expert. I'm gonna be like an expert out of this someday. Um, you know, so changing so many headlights and tail lights. Yeah, you know, YouTube helps you everything, guys. You fix things out. Most of the stuff I learned is from cars or from Becky's dad. Uh, but yeah, YouTube helps a lot, a lot, guys. YouTube helps. Just remember that it helps. So I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna install one in. Um, the other one I'm gonna keep uh, because the new one coming in, and I'm not going to waste my time putting the other one in, which I'm, I'm gonna take it right back out again. So, um, but these gonna be for like my spare. So if anything does happen to the other one, then I have a spare. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put everything back on. Thanks for watching guys.